any update on Carter at this point? Um, he's doing sure. doing pretty good. Um, I don't I don't know if it's a situation that you know me talking really does a lot of good, uh, really. But he's uh, you know what what his plans are. But I mean, they haven't really changed. I think it's still search and destroy, basically, or something like that. <laughs> what are your options with Carter? Yeah. Um, well, it's uh, it's like a day-to-day -day thing where he's getting better uh, significantly uh, over time. So you know, he, his plan is to uh, do what he does and go, go compete. You know, that's something that we'll have to kind of step in there if we don't feel like it's in his best interest. Right? Obviously, the getting to the nationals is number one, and then being at your best at the nationals is uh, number two. So um, what we have to do to just Help him do that is the is, is the plan. So this could be like a Nolf situation, you know, six years ago. Uh, potentially could be could be yeah. I was going to ask about the Nolf that's six years ago already. Was it? <laughs> yeah. I was going to ask about that. Like, how much do you draw from that in terms of uh, kind of knowing what your options are at this point and how much time you have in managing that gap between when what has happened, happened and, and when he's going to yeah. happen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, we just trust our trainer, uh, Dan Monte, and our doctors and. And uh, you know, as we've, we've said, I mean, Carter's a competitor, and um, he'll be uh, he'll be good to go. What are his spirits like? Oh, uh, he's good. Yeah, he's good. He's uh, I just ran into him. That's why I was a minute late, actually, for 30 seconds late. Um, <laughs> sorry, Pat. Spring break. Yeah, spring break. Um, but yeah, he's. You know, I think he's doing good. I think you know, the first day. It was tough for him because we didn't really know, uh, you know where he was and uh, he was in a lot of pain. Uh, usually that's a good thing, you know, if you know uh, knees and injuries and stuff. Uh, if there's no pain, that's usually more of a concern because that means um, something's no longer there. So, um, But yeah, he's, uh, he's doing good. How's everybody else looking at this time of the year? As good as they can be, I guess you could say. Yeah, I think everyone's looking good. You know, we uh, just have a couple more days of hard training and then it's just get ready to compete. and. Just go do what we do. Do you have to look at everybody individually as far as training goes? You know, maybe somebody's already perhaps peaked and others need, need a little more work than, than some, or is it individual? Uh, yeah, I don't think anybody's peaked yet. I think, you know, everybody has their eyes set on, uh, you know, the bigger events at the end. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's some different things. Everyone's different, obviously, different levels of experience, and, uh, and then, you know, weight management is different. So that, that obviously factors into the training of, of each individual. But, but yeah, I think our, our guys are excited and at peace and ready to roll. How do you manage those different levels of experience? Is it kind of getting to know the guys and seeing what works best for them? What is it? Yeah, I think so. I think, uh, yeah, just get to know the kids. And, and we've just had, uh, you know, some, some great uh, prep leading in with some big dual meets and just a lot of, I mean, they're always, uh, you know, in the spotlight. That just comes from, uh, you know, being in one of the top programs. So, um, and if they didn't like that, they probably wouldn't have chosen to come to Penn State in the first place. So, you know, now it's just a time to kind of be yourself and uh, just get what you want. What are, what are some of the couple things you're maybe looking forward to the most of this postseason that might be different from the past? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. It's the same for us every year. We just want to want our kids to be happy and want to help them just reach their goals, um, you know, just keep, uh, you know, focus on the little things, you know, it's the small and simple things that, you know, make the big things uh, take place. So just keep things simple and just have fun. I knew uh, plan might not have been to use Braden Davis, all but obviously you, you had to. Are you pleased with the way he's developed and handled the situation? Yeah, yeah, Braden's been great. And, and you know, coming into the year, obviously, uh, I mean, we were thinking that, you know, maybe he would be the guy. We just wanted to make sure we gave Robert, you know, a, a chance just because he's, he's just been very loyal to the program and he's been, had been dealing with uh, injuries for so long. Um, and, uh, but yeah, you know, you know, Davis, uh, I think he had that in his mind uh, when he showed up here. Uh, you know, last summer for summer school, that there was a pretty good chance that he he would be the guy this year. And he's, um, he stepped right in and competed uh, wonderfully. Same same kind of question for Tyler Kasak too. I mean, we're yeah, really yeah. having to expect to have to use him this year, but yeah, yeah. I think uh, you know, as I've discussed a few times, I mean, he was always planning on starting this year. You know, just in conversations I had with him, and 
um, you know, I just think that's uh, you know more common than it once was. Is these guys just come in and they're ready to, they just want to get in there and compete, and, and uh, they don't want to sit back and, and watch. And so, um, so yeah, I think he's uh, you know he's doing exactly what he wants to be doing. Does that make it more difficult for you guys as coaches? Because I mean, you guys look at things well in advance, I'm sure, but. Does that make anything difficult when these guys are coming in now with that type of mentality? Uh, I think everything just changes. You know, you just have to keep adjusting as you're uh, as you're planning and and uh, just be aware that that's just the reality. I mean, there's obviously a lot of, a lot of adjustments that you have to make. It's uh, college athletics has changed a lot in the last few years, and you know, if we want to compete, we have to keep moving. Cool. Who are you guys taking with us? Bonus guys. Uh, the bonus guys. I like that. Uh, we're we're still kind of uh, working through through that. I mean, we can only we can only take 15, um, and and the, it, it just you know, there's different uh, different people that uh, some of the starters like to warm up with and work out with. Uh, you know, so it's not it's not about who's like you know the person you throw out there in a match or not. You know, it's it's uh, it's a team team effort right now and. Uh, and it's a tough job if you're a backup going to these tournaments because you're in the back warming people up the whole time and and uh, so uh, but yeah it's something we're kind of working through here we got to figure that one out soon cool there we go awesome all right thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.